It's video log number two, the barley building adventure. Who doesn't want to stay on the side of a volcano and build a structure out of metal? So in this video, we'll cover the tools that we're going to take to help accomplish that goal of building the casita. Stay tuned. For my background as a craftsman, I think in terms of the tools that I have at hand and being unsure of what tools I can get in Costa Rica, I thought that I'd take some of my essential building tools given the nature of the work. Primarily hand tools and secondarily some metalworking tools just so I'm comfortable with those processes. So I'm excited to show you the hand tools. Stay tuned. We'll go type of tool by type of tool and then at the end of the video we'll talk about some prayer requests and how the fundraising is going so stay tuned for that. So I've laid out all my tools on this table <clears throat> that I'm going to take and uh, I can kind of explain them one by one. Over here in this corner we have sort of the knives, putty knives, five-way, utility knife, and chisel. A lot of these tool selections are based on my time as a carpenter, it's tools that I would have had in my tool belt, uh, and some additional ones. Got a vice grip, uh, a cross dike. This is a very popular, uh, po helpful tool because of it. you can, it works similar to a cat's ball and it pivots. Needle nose pliers, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this one or not. It's sort of iffy, but it's always handy to have a needle nose. Um, another pliers. So these are sort of the, the gripping tools and the cutting tools right here. I've separated the screwdriver and the um, crescent wrench in their own little category here, but these, these screwdrivers are very handy. Um, as far as hitting and hammering, I've got the classic S-Wing hammer. This tool is very handy, virtually indestructible. And then a cat's paw. I don't know how much framing I'll be doing, but a cat's paw is a handy little crowbar. In this area, we have the measuring and layout tools. You can see classic Sharpie marker, marker construction pencil, and a torpedo level. Got a tiny combination square and a speed square. Again, not sure how much we'll need these, but that's what we have. One thing with the tape measure, this is a standard tape measure and Costa Rica uses the metric and all the architectural drawings are metric. So I'll probably have to get a different tape measure once we get to Costa Rica. And I've got a couple clamping tools because you always need clamps and I'm sort of fussy on the quality of clamps and just, they're just a handy little device to have and know what it is. The second set, section of tools are metalworking and welding tools. I've got a four and a half inch angle grinder here. This is going to be helpful for cutting and fabricating. I've got the, the tool for changing the blades as well as the accessory handle. I don't often use this, um, but I figured I might want to take it if I'm hanging off the side of a steel structure. Then I've got my welding helmet. I wanted to take this for stick welding. This has the auto darkening feature, which can be nice um, for, for stick welding. A uh, little welding hat and welding gloves. That was a very quick recap of the hand tools and metalworking tools I plan on taking to Costa Rica. Let me know which tools that you would not take or what tools am I missing? What tools would you add that I'm not, not taking? I've considered taking a tool belt as well because so many of those contractor type tools um, are organized or have been organized on a tool belt. And, um, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, I go back and forth with whether to wear a tool belt or not. Um, framing houses and all of that. So... Let me know um, your thoughts. As always with all of these videos, it helps to like, comment, and subscribe. So uh, any comments or likes you can add, uh, go ahead and hit that, hit the, no, turn on the notifications bell. So when we put a video log out, you get updates in your feed that we've updated <clears throat> and shared a new video. Um, as to the next steps between now and when we leave, 
for prayer requests. Please keep our family in your prayers for just logistics and safety of travel, um, wisdom on what to pack, things of that nature. Also keep the Balky family in your prayers for Costa Rica. They are coordinating the arrival of our team, but also they're coordinating the arrival of 32 Panamanians coming. So they have a lot on their plate. Keep them in their prayers. That They have peace with the logistics of uh, simple things like feeding uh, over 40 people, three meals a day. So keep that in your prayers. The fundraising has been going, really, it's God's just poured out blessings on us. Um, again, our goal is $4,500 for the Barley family transportation costs. That does not cover housing. That does not cover food. But we thought we would like to raise money for that. Uh, in addition, we'd like to um, raise some money for the actual casita. Materials costs are expensive. And so we were thinking additional $4,000 for the Balkies. Uh, ministry. So that's 8500 total. Our, we currently have raised $3,850. So that within two weeks, that's um, we've covered a lot of ground. So keep us in your prayers. If, if you'd like to donate, feel free to reach out to us directly or look at the resources in the link below. Um, anyway, uh, it's been fun learning how to make these YouTube videos. Uh, stay tuned, follow along. Uh, we'll probably have at least one more update, maybe two more before we leave. We're leaving at the end of this month. Uh, and again, the whole month of January, 2024 in Costa Rica on the side of a volcano building a casita. Stay tuned.